Chase Tree and Tractor Service with 25 years of experience in tree removal. Serving the mid coast of Maine, licensed and insured Maine arborist. Whether it's a pesky blowdown or a hard to get tree that needs removal. When you need an experienced professional, Jake Chase is the man for the job. Call 207 242 8961 or email him at chase tree and tractor service jc at gmail.com. LCTV is your nonprofit community media station. Please donate at lctv.org to keep us strong. Thank you. Hey everyone, it's What's Up Time. I'm your host, Larry Seidling, and along with my co-host, Mr. Bobby Weir, the mayor of the mills. Another week. Another week. We have TV Toby on the floor. We got Haven behind the camera today because CJ, our intern, is off to Minnesota to visit uh, his grandpa. Okay. Good for him, huh? Uh, what if you're going to do some filming at grandpa's? Well, I don't know. You know, what, you know Minnesota is kind of a friendly, one of the friendliest states to live in. I so. think so. Yeah. We've, we, I, I've always said the nicest people come to the Mill Pond Inn. I don't want to categorize anybody, <laughs> but, they but come the from people from Minnesota are the nicest people. Nicest people, people yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a big state. Yeah. I mean, I've trucked a lot up through there. It's yeah. really flat. And I can tell you from going to three different frozen fours in St. Paul, Minnesota. Yeah. They are friendly. Well, I can tell you the roads out there are in hard shape. <laughs> <laughs> They're bad as Maine, if not worse. Yeah. Because okay. they run those heavy trucks and stuff out there, mm -hmm. big overweight yeah. trucks. And whatnot, you ever so. run up to the Iron Iron Range and all up in there? Yeah, that's goes, in Michigan. No, no, Iron Range, Iron. Minnesota. It's up up Duluth, Hibbing. Oh, I've been up, up, yeah, I've been up yeah, that way yeah. in uh, uh, War, War Road. War Road. We used yeah. to haul lumber to War Road. Okay. There's a, there's a big uh, window factory up there. Uh, Anderson. No, I don't think it's Anderson. No? Thing. It's okay. uh, Marvin. No. Pella. Can't remember what the name of it is. Well, folks, write in when you find out yeah. the name of that There's window. Yeah, there's a big window place up there. Yeah, so. I was thinking it begins with an H, but I can't yeah. remember what it, yeah. what it was. But anyway, yeah, Lincoln County, we got some broadband money, huh, Bobby? Uh, Santa Larry, I said I thought we, I thought Lincoln County was covered, but according to him, it's, uh, no, our you know, friend Marva has terrible internet over in Lynch Road. Yeah, she, it's terrible, she, terrible yeah. internet. So Oop, I dropped my glasses. We got, uh, anyway, <clears throat> six, so, six but, million. I mean, that, there's still a lot of the county that needs to be. Yep. But like the rest of the state of Maine, really. And six million isn't even. There's more. There's more money. It's being. Oh yeah. Yeah. Given. So. Yeah. Anyway. We got a national monument going to come into here. The How Francis about Perkins. that? Huh? How about that? Well, you know, it's good that they're going to get, you know, they want to get, you know, annual funding from the feds, but they'll, you know, as we all know, they'll lose control over They will, stuff. And, and there'll be lots of stuff that they got to, regulations and rules, they got to, a documentation, I should say. Anyway, that place has come a long way. So they'll, they'll join Acadia National Park and Katahdin Woods and Waters National Monument for other... Um, national designations in Maine. Yeah. So, anyway, the uh, this how about this character of the county, Bobo Hockmeister? Yeah, you said uh, you interviewed him. Yeah, off years camera, ago, huh? years ago, years ago. Funny story. Me and Kit, the, the the late Kit Hayden, we went in there. We set the whole thing up, and we went in there and we sat at a table. And we we're excited about seeing that whole button factory. I mean, it's no button factory. Twenty five thousand square feet. Quite a history so, in Walterboro. Anyway, so it, the cool thing over there, Larry. You look on the floors, and there's buttons. Buttons everywhere. All everywhere, and the cracks everywhere. So anyway, so we sit down with Bobo and all this stuff, and we start the interview. And three minutes into the interview, he says, you know, I got stuff to do today. And he gets up and leaves. <laughs> and left us here. And so we had to fend for ourselves going through the whole building. And so anyway, every floor, five floors. Every floor had something else. Yeah. Then, well, the button factory back in the 50s and 60s was a was a going concern. I think it was the biggest button factory in the United States. Well, it could have been. Yeah. Could have been. It makes you want a little thing like buttons on yeah. your shirt. Yeah, yeah. You know, where are they made now? I'm yeah. sure Thailand yeah. or something. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, in, in somewhere, some farm. Yeah, folks, if you ever are missing a button and you can't find a match, 
Call Bobo up. Yeah, Maybe Bobo's you can find him in the crack of the floors up yeah. there. I didn't realize he'd been there as long. 20-something yeah. years, 25 yeah. years? Yeah, he found it in a yachting magazine, and he grew up in Wisconsin, and uh, he ended up coming here and... Yeah, I, 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 I was totally fascinated. I didn't know anybody lived there. I mean, I yeah. know where the button factory yeah. is. I, I didn't know anybody lived there. He's, a he's very, lived there as long as he has. Very qualified woodworker. I, when we were there, he was redoing the windows, and he was making all the windows himself. So. Crazy. So, crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyway. Monhegan, they got a lighthouse celebration going on out there. Yep. They're, uh, Boy, they had a beautiful day to go out there, didn't well, the they? Whole, I guess the whole town will be at that, huh? Yeah. So, anyway, the... Uh, I got a new fire truck needed in Jefferson. Uh, so I, I had a question on this. Wasn't it just a little while ago that uh, Newcastle was buying a new fire truck? Yes, it was did. like seven or eight hundred thousand dollars or yes. a million. I, it was a yeah. lot of money. It was yeah. it was nowhere near this one. It was nowhere near as much as that one was. Yeah. It must be a lot smaller fire truck or something. Well, it's three hundred seventy-three thousand. That's half the price. Mm. And. Uh, so maybe it's not uh, as complex as the one that Newcastle got. I don't know. The one that Newcastle got. I had this, we had this conversation yesterday uh, with a group of people of the consolidation, regionalization of hospitals and what is coming to. But, you know, you stop and think of fire departments, police departments. Yep. It's coming yep. where they're going to have to regionalize yep. to, to, you know, you've got Damascot or Newcastle firehouses mm -hmm. are a mile and a half apart or two miles apart. Well, you it know, wasn't long ago that Damon Scott wanted to get rid of their police department. Yeah, fire department. Consol fire department. Yeah. And consolidate. So, and consolidate. So, anyway, but it's coming, Bobby, because... Yeah, there's three towns in Nor Norwich, Walk, maybe, Mexico. Mexico's and, losing their police department, yeah, you know, so. and there's been two or three others lost the police department. And, you know, it's it's everybody's doing the same infrastructure stuff that they have to, you know, that it's just crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So, Bigelow Lab, 50 years old. Yeah, so the other, th the other thing I learned on this article is the, uh, it's probably the world's best lab for the study of phytoplankton. And uh, so they've spent many, many a day, many an hours studying phytoplankton. And isn't phytoplankton, and, uh, isn't that like the, the, <laughs> the root mass for all feed for anything in the ocean? Yeah, I think it's the root of everything yeah. in yeah. the ocean. Yeah. So... Yeah, I remember uh, was up years ago going to the Grand the old o Bigelow Labs, oh, the new one. Oh, the new we one. We went. To, we went to the groundbreaking of the oh, new did one. You? Yep. Yeah, and uh, standing right, we were filming Susan Collins digging the digging, the, digging, digging the, the shovel, the huh? Yep. So anyway, old Bristol days, they had a beautiful. I mean, the morning was bad, but the rest of the day was gorgeous. And uh, so anyway, they had their parade. They had their uh, car show. Mr. Paul Lehman, my buddy, right on the front page. Yep. Yeah, well, we've just about covered the front page, haven't we, Bobby? Did we miss anything there? Yeah, I don't see anything. I, I, it's, it's amazing to think that Paul, in retirement, has taken up bike riding. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That looks like a motorized bike. That's cheating. Oh, yeah. So Lincoln Academy's got a new dean of students up yeah, there. Yeah, because you know we and I got to I got to get hold of this fella because he's a very he did broadcasting. Yeah, and we need a sports broadcaster for a soccer at Lincoln there you Academy. Go. So oh, he'd love if anybody him. knows Don Lagrias, have him to yeah. get. We'll go. We'll go over and see him. We got to yeah. go see him or yeah, something. So he, uh, he took Jake Abbott's place and uh, he was uh, he started at Greeley High School and he went on to Mount Ararat High School. So he's got some experience with high schools. Yep. So. He, him and his wife are, are both educators, I believe. So the Republicans, they're going to caucus up there. The NC Hunt's just past there on their land up there. Yeah. So is, is that trailer the only yep. part? They used I to be so. inside the building. Of course, that's our kitchen. Yeah. That's the kitchen place yeah. now. Put it up outside. So. But that like, article right next to it, no, I don't like doing yeah, well. Yeah. How about that, Larry? How are you doing with that? Man, I'm not doing well with that. 18%, folks. 18% well, it's an increase of, rate. It's, incre it's an increase of almost 2.5%. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot. Buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's a lot. It's, uh, well, it's 250 bucks a thousand. Right. Addition. Right. It's gone, you know, from 1500 to 1800 Right. 18, 1850 you know, it's... That's a, that's a lot. So we got uh, Lincoln Theater. So before, let, we'll yeah. get to oh, talk about this. I got more to say. Oh, so want... all last week they were talking about the snowplow. Two weeks ago, the snowplow, not going to increase your taxes. Any, yeah. We got the money. Really? 
Mm-hmm. What does that say, Bobby? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it says it's a big, big increase. Yep. Yeah. So. So we got the talking art in Maine. Of course, that was there. A uh, woman by the name, the name of Jane Damon started to uh, have this talking art in Maine, and she uh, it went by the wayside. And now this Emily Sabino is Jane Damon's daughter, and she, they're going to revive talking art in Maine. So she's going to be showing her work as a as well as a guy by the name of David Esty. So that's going to be uh, coming up Thursday, August 22nd. So, uh, you, got a, you got a little community mediation going on up oh, around here. Oh, yeah. Right? We, got, we got everything. You in. couldn't go to that, Bobby, because huh? you couldn't sit still for 30 yeah, minutes we, and well, not say we got, we got everything going on in the mills. And if you want to come <laughs> up on Hill Road, huh? right there. <laughs> yeah, if you want to come up, you can go up to George and Susan Mason's uh, church up there and uh, meditate from 5 to 6.30 on Sunday, August 25th. Yeah. yeah. So, that ice cream stop over there in Dresden? Yeah, I used to stop to, there in my truck every oh, now and then. Oh, did you? I, I, good ice cream. To, I'm trying to think where it is. It's right there on 27. You come out yep. of Dresden on the right-hand side, there's a long straight stretch. Yep, yep. It's right here on the right-hand oh, side. Okay. All yeah. right. How about Center for Teaching and Learning? They got, a, they got the best private about ice cream. elementary school in Maine by Down East Magazine. So, anyway, another best. Did you see Bread and the Bone got best new restaurant in Maine? Yep. From Down East Magazine. Have you eaten in there? Oh, yeah. I, have, I haven't eaten yeah. in there yet. Oh, yeah. But this is the deal right here, Larry. I was saying to my wife last night, of course, you, if, unless you write stuff down, you're screwed. Oh, yeah. So yeah. anyway, so... No, so, no, no, no prayer. Now, folks, I'm going to give you the, the deal of the century, okay? <laughs> the deal of the century, the Wiscasset Senior Center. They're going to have the annual lobster roll dinner. Now, you have to make reservations, okay? For eighteen dollars, you're gonna get two lobster rolls with clear lobster meat, corn chowder, garlic bread, steamed mussel, salad, corn on the cob, and blueberry cake. Everything is but the corn chowder. I have never been able to eat corn no. chowder. Well, I love corn, but well, I just can't I, eat it in chowder. You know, I know you're heartbroken about the corn chowder, but for eighteen bucks, I'm I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. You got to make a reservation because everybody that's reading this article right now is going to the phone. Absolutely, right now. tickets yeah. twenty bucks for non-members. Yeah, so that's a good deal. Boy. That's a good deal. They, they give Red one lobster rolls thirty. <laughs> yeah, easy down the yeah. street. <clears throat> Red Zeets has got a little competition there going yeah. on. They might be small rolls. I don't know. We'll yeah, see. But yeah. even still. Well, even still. Yeah. And this year it's got this uh, band for books. The band for books is uh, it's a big fundraiser for Wiscasset Public Library. And it's the 10th anniversary. And it's going to be on Labor Day, September 2nd, which is a Monday. And uh, that's good. And while we're talking about Wiscasset, I just saw this morning where... Dennis Simmons, the town manager over there, has got a big award from some association. No that, kidding. Yeah, for well, the best town manager in the state or something like okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Well, if he if he sticks around for more than two years, yeah, he's been there <laughs> three or four now. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I'd say Dennis is doing a pretty good job over there for him. He's, Absolutely. Because politics in Wiscasset was uh, a little uh, questionable at times, anyway. So. Passionate. That's maybe that's a good word. Yeah. Passionate. Bob. Paul F- Hall Funeral Home in Thomaston. They're going to have a. Uh, Back to school donation cookout, August 31st. Recommended donation, $10. Um, so anyway, that go, funds go toward providing school supplies for RSU 13. It's a good, good idea by Mike Hall over there. Oh, yeah. Hey, Walterboro Duncan, they've got to have a new home, huh? The old Rockland yeah. Savings Bank. Yeah. Pretty good. That, that, that's a no-brainer. That, that's a Duncan Donuts building to begin it with. It is. You're absolutely right. I drive thought up, that, right? Yeah. They're gonna, the drive up is all there. They're going to take down some of the awning and whatnot. But boy, that's that's a that's a good move. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instead of an ATM machine, you have a Dunkin' to go. Yeah. So anyway, the Broad Bay Congregational Church, Katie Diebler, she she uh, has a class called Aging Gracefully, and uh, anyway, so maybe it's a class and a. Uh, and uh, what's the word I want? I don't know, Bobby. I never know what your words are going to be. Aging gracefully? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. How about aging peacefully? <laughs> I had to laugh when I was reading that Dunkin' Donuts article there, backing up a little bit. They wanted this guy to, to show some uh, 
uh, liquidity or whatever, you know, yeah. the cash is, well, we own 50 Dunkin' Donuts in the state of Maine. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. so I think okay. we know what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, they, they own New England. They, yeah. I think they're based in Rhode Island, I believe. Um, Great American Picnic, that had to be moved. Um, I think it's a little muddy up there, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the, Tony needs uh, to put some crushed stone down there, I guess. Yeah, huh? You think Tony could handle it? I, I think mean, Tony could. Yeah. So He built everything else there. Photographers, we got some uh, new, some couple of photographers up there at uh, Saltwater Artist Gallery. Going to be showing for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, this Richard Potter, he doesn't look like he's in too good a shape there. They, they got him... Uh, Cops got him. He's a Whitefield resident. Yep. They arrest him over in Brunswick. Yep. He's all, he's not going anywhere for a while. How about this county commission as they awarded opioid settlements to all these different groups? That's Ninety thousand bucks, Bobby. I mean, huh? they're gonna uh, what a deal there. Yeah. So anyway, we got a uh, Studio B direct executive director Peter Brun, who just did a show with Marva with Abigail Bowden of the uh, Lincoln County Recovery Community Center. And uh, so that's still... Yeah, Westport Island, they patented over there. They got a $3 million grant from NOAA. Mm. Grants, grants, grants. Where's all the money coming from? Bay Chamber, they're going to have their uh, Screen Door Festival August 14th to Sunday, August 18th. And it's going to be in the brand new concert hall at Five Mountain Street in Camden. I didn't know those new concerts. I didn't know that either. Yeah. See what you you get all kinds of news here in the Boy, they're digging up the they're digging up the dirt here. They are. Really. Scratching for stuff to go. Not many editorial letters this week. I wonder what's going on. There's, you know there was some controversy here, Bobby. We got <laughs> what, three? Yeah. Editor, you know. Well, Art Mayers wrote in that he was uh he watched all the Olympics, and he was not happy with the no. fact that they were uh, cheering on the gold medal people. Just only want to talk all about, about the winners. Gold, all about know? gold. All about gold. Yeah. Yeah. What's this American Lobster Board? They're going to, the minimum gauge they're gonna, size? They're going to increase it. They're going to increase they're, they're fighting it. The, yeah. the fishermen are fighting it. Yeah. You know, once again, the regulators know more than the fishermen do. They spend every day out there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense to me. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make any sense to me, and it's going to go into effect. It's only going up a sixteenth of an inch, but it's going into effect next next twenty five. Wallabers getting a new uh, heating and air conditioning system over there at their building. They figured out that it's uh, old and antiquated. Yeah, another three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Unbelievable. Man. What stuff costs? It's just I mean, blows you want my mind. A, a town hall. You want to put air conditioning and heat in? It costs you three hundred fifty thousand. It's crazy. Crazy. Yep. Got a gentleman by the name of Matt O'Donnell. He's going to be showing his artwork um, over at Sc Clary Gallery at Skidumpha. Um, 20 pieces they'll have on display over there. So my buddy, my buddy John Wally, he put um, 17 pieces down at Green Hut Gallery in Portland. And yeah. He, and the first day he sold four. Wow. Yeah. That's something, huh? Yep. Yeah. And that and that heating system, they're putting those uh, heat pumps in over there. Yeah. Yeah, I meant to tell you that. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. Like 15 or 18 of them they're putting in all through the buildings. Yeah, Jan Kemper of Bremen was the top, top scorer at the Midcoast Bridge scores. and That's uh, big news. Yeah, it really is. And uh, anyway, how about this Green Burial Cemetery? How are you going to do this? I don't know. Midcoast Maine Green Burial, a local volunteer organization. They promote the creation of a green burial cemetery in Knox Waldo in Lincoln County. Is that like composting? No, body? I, 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 <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's a, I, a, green, a green cemetery. You just bury yourself in the backyard. Is yeah. That used to happen all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's why Nobleboro has 84 cemeteries. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if, how many bodies do you have to put in a cemetery before it's protected? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Down at Walpole there, that church down there, the Walpole Union Church. Yeah. They, I see they've got that. I was just down by there yesterday and taking that steeple down. Yeah. Boy, it, there's always a steeple being worked on. Well, right? they're old. Yeah. You don't see new new buildings being built with steeples anymore. No. All the steeples no. are steeples all steeples old. Are, steeples are trouble. Yeah, thing of the past. Um,
got Jerry Douglas. He's a he's a legend. He is. He, he is, played uh, with uh, big names. Oh, he, he, Allison Krauss. Yeah, and, you know. in, in Union Station. Yeah. But they're going to be down at the Booth Bay Opera House. Yeah, he's a legend. Um, so, anyway. You're going to have a... What do you know about the Embody Dance? I don't know. Ah, that's going to be down to Clark's Cove Farm. Yep. Dance leader Tracy Collins, Santa Fe. She came from Santa Fe to her ancestral home. So all you got to do is bring your body and your, your soul, heart and soul. You gotta right. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll have to find out what that's all about. <clears throat> Famous page 10. I didn't know anybody on I page didn't know 10. anybody. Uh, not a soul did I know. Uh, now, Maxine uh, Poland, I knew Jimmy, her husband, but yep. I never knew her. Hmm. Yeah, so. They're going to have a free Labor Day movie down Booth Bay. Greeks. That's a good movie. Oh, yeah. Well. yeah. And Calvin, a little history of the shell mittens down there. When you first came here, Bobby, 40 years ago, could you see the shell heaps very well? When I was a kid, I could see them plain as day, yeah. but now it's all Vegetation. grown up. Vegetation. Vegetation's yeah. grown up. And, and I think when they put the bridge in there, that really kind of covered them up a little bit. So, so uh, Thomas and Ashley Balk of Damascata. I wonder if that's related to Barney Balk. I would um, think so, maybe. But anyway, that's kind of an odd name. They got a son, Finnegan Amish Amos Balk. Finnegan, Hamish, Amos, Balk. Yeah. Okay. Sandra mm -hmm. Lane, she got a nice Spirit of the America Award from down in Bristol. She did. She's nobody any more deserving Sandra. What a lovely lady she yeah. is. How many years she drive that bus? Oh, geez, it was a lot. 30 long. years? 30, 30 plus years. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The old Bristol Day Car Show, they got a few trophy recipients. John Harris, I wonder how many trophies John Harris has for cars. She's a lot. Yeah. He's, and he, and he, the little car shows love And this fun. was a, a 1932 REO sedan, yeah. which means nothing to me. No, nope, me neither. Yeah. And then they had the rubber ducky rooftop race <laughs> yeah. down they at raised the a lot of money. Bristol. Yeah, they did. They yeah. certainly did. So, hmm. yeah, sold over a thousand rubber ducks. How about this hole in one crew? Yeah. This is funny. Yeah. We got the... Uh, I knew Lanny. You must whole, have known Lanny. Yeah. A whole bunch of people. They got 25 different holes in ones. Yeah. Well, there's like different, three generations all and sisters and brothers and yeah. aunts and uncles. Yeah. 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 Of course, Chris Feltis, he is the voice of the Lincoln County, uh, Lincoln Academy uh, Eagles in basketball. Mm -hmm. He and Rod uh, Waltz. Did you go in? To, you didn't go down to Pemgood Beach for the triathlon by any chance, no, did you? No. no, you were busy that no, day. No, no, it's uh, it's a coming up. It's already happened. Yeah, it's already happened. I was taken with this article, the uh, Chrissy Sterrett and John Sterrett. He was the bass player for Wilco, the band John was, and they drove by. And I'm trying to. I hope I got the name right. Otioqua. Otioqua. It's a, it used to be a camp, but it was a private camp for a private family and they built like four or five cabins and it's got it's like, like 2,000 feet of frontage on uh, Pemaquid Lake. So uh, to, not to get off subject, did you see where somebody got fined for having a campground up on Damascot Lake there? Yes, what, illegal what, campground. Yeah, illegal campground. Well, they didn't have a license. They were letting <laughs> people camp and, you know, it got a little out of hand. I would so. say it was 40 uh, sites or something like that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Where is that? Off the East Pond Road there somewhere? It's, uh, our, yeah, down Moran Cove Road, down Wildwood Shores. Oh, down Moran Cove Road? Okay. Wildwood Shores. Oh, down in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, huh. Anyway. So you can't get all the news on the newspaper. Yet. Right. You, so, if you need extra, you just talk to Bobby. He knows Yeah, that. right. Um, we got, now to go back to this Otioqua. Um, so anyway, there. it sounds like it's a fantastic place for a family to just take over this place. They have houseboats, they got five cabins, they got a main lodge. I want. I think you should go down and check that out. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, well that's right across from the campground, down yeah. Pemacud Pond. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know where it is. Yeah. They, they drove yeah. by it for years, they drove by it. And the thing that attracted them was the, uh, they had a woody 
station wagon in the front yard. Yeah, I think you get to it, you go down the Nobleboro, come up, come up, go across the Turner Road and go north towards Walter Road yep. and go up the Nobleboro Road, Road and it's up there all a mile or so, yep. maybe three yep. quarters of a mile. Yeah. And the road goes down to the left down there. Yep, so, boy, <clears> I tell you, this Bremen chocolate sundae. It looks good, Ooh, doesn't it? Ooh, sundae. Yeah. Um, they were there August 11th, an afternoon of community music and chocolate. So Can't beat that, huh? No, you can't. Got a soup, chili, and chowder supper. That's going to be in Jefferson, but it's not going to be a good a deal as that that lobster roll thing. Little Old Grange 71, they're going to have that on uh, August 24th. Ten bucks. Yeah. Got a, what's this, re reusable party snacks. Um, it makes sense. I mean, it really does. Um, I don't. When I have a party, I don't use any. I use I use real plates. I use glasses. Yeah. You know. So, you know. So you're all you're all reusable. Yeah. Once they go through I the dishwasher. Am. Yeah. <clears throat> you're probably the dishwasher too, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. So fifty. Was that the fifty second Nobro day? The chicken was unbelievable. Congratulations to all the folks yeah. up there in North Nobro. Music was great. The only thing, the weather was hot. Boy, yeah. was it hot. Well, half the <laughs> half the excitement of the chicken is watching the guys cook it. Oh yeah, yeah. That's... Those, guys, those guys, they all lost ten pounds that day because there yeah, was yeah. sweat equity in that deal. Mm -hmm. And Debbie Myers, my buddy Robbie Coffin, he's just lights out good. Yeah. Big crowd, big crowd. The ice cream it was delicious. Yeah. You know. They... How about this, Larry? You know, Owl's Head has they have as good as good a car auction as it gets. They have so many cars this year; they have to do it for two days. Yeah. Yeah, so... Big fundraiser for him. Yeah, so John Patero will be right there, right at the head of the line there, auctioning off those cars. So, anyway, the uh, Knox Lincoln Soil Water Conservation District, they're going to have... They're going to have... the August 21st, they're having an annual celebration, and it's going to be at Beaver Lodge. You ever been to Beaver Lodge? I have. Yeah. Yeah, been to a few weddings up there, a few parties. We've got a new, uh, my new, wife's all excited, there's a new... New boutique. A new boutique. <clears throat> in, you get uh, excited about boutiques? No. Well, no, I don't either. Kamala Boutique, it's in Edgecombe. It doesn't really give, it didn't catch the address. I think it's right on Route 27 yeah. in Edgecombe. Yeah. But, Bobby, we got to wrap this one up. There's not much left in the paper here. Well, anyway, talk about a minute sidewalk work. music and whiz cash it. Bunch of chamber fest going on. Uh, you got any chamber after hours coming up? Or? We had one last night. Congratulations to the folks at Bangor uh, Savings. They had a nice one out the uh, out there on out of Main Street. Yep. Uh, we have. I tell you what, we do have is uh, Mr. Dennis Hilton is going to be on here. Uh, a talk or a chamber chat coming up. Uh, oh, talking about all the new oh. rules and regulations for uh, agents and how they get paid and all that stuff. You're yeah. well yeah. in tune with that. And yep. There was a thing last night. The Legacy folks at right. Lincoln Theater had that, and uh, you know we got a lot of stuff coming. You think up. Think it's going to fly? What they want to do? Or? Well, I, I guess I don't. You know, I don't know much about real estate. Mm -hmm. You know, I live on a piece, and that's <laughs> it, right. it was expensive to buy. Right, right. But, uh, the Legacy folks are going to town on that old Howard Bowie. Yeah, right? that's going to be nice. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Yeah. And uh, so, and folks, we want to tell you there's going to be parking problems in Damascot or right after Labor Day, as the back parking lot's going to be tore up. Yeah. There is some uh, alternative parking on different sites, the First National Bank and Cheney's and some of these other places have donated some parking, but better get ready because oh. it's going to be tough for six or seven weeks. Right. So, Thanks for watching, folks. I'm Larry Seidling, the Mayor of the Mills, right here at TV. Toby, Haven behind the camera. Toby, what do you got to say? You want to say goodnight? <laughs> we'll see you next time, folks. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Chase Tree and Tractor Service with 25 years of experience in tree removal. Serving the mid coast of Maine, licensed and insured Maine arborist. Whether it's a pesky blowdown or a hard to get tree that needs removal. When you need an experienced professional, Jake Chase is the man for the job. Call 207 242 8961 or email him at chasetreeandtractorservice.jc at gmail.com.